Why rollable? Why now? Well, it's not as sudden as you think. Actually, they've been thinking about it for a year now. Hi guys, Alina here. Welcome back to Need to Know. Thought foldable phones are daring? You ain't seen nothing yet. One major player is about to drop a rollable phone next year. Will it be more than a curiosity though? I mean, let's be honest here. Who doesn't get excited at the sight of something weird, new, challenging? But from getting excited to committing to it, uh, that's a bit of a stretch. That doesn't mean LG won't try it. They've been experimenting for a while now, from Jedi gesture control to attachable screens. For 2021, they're rolling the dice with a rollable phone. Project B, as they call it internally, is supposed to extend or attract at will. We're talking about getting almost twice the display when you see fit. That's much more complicated than just folding and unfolding the screen. And it's also the reason why LG is planning to get this phone on the market next year. Making sure the display works as it's supposed to is gonna take a while, although they're not alone in this. LG is actually not gonna make the displays themselves, but count on BOE manufacturer to get it done. Why rollable? Why now? It's not as sudden as you think. Actually, they've been thinking about it for a year now. And honestly, if you think about LG's other products, wink wink, Rollable is kind of their thing. The Signature Series OLED TVR is a functional, incredibly looking TV that rolls up and down. You can hide it when you want to use it as a soundbar or a stylish stand and nothing more. And you can even roll it partially to see the clock, set lighting and more. If anyone's got a chance to make a rollable phone happen, it is LG. That's why we're taking this rumor pretty seriously. As for this year, well, LG Velvet has been out for some time now and it hasn't been the flagship some were expecting. So, do they have anything else on the pipeline? You betcha! There's talk about a phone with the codename Wing. It won't fold or roll, but it will swivel. What? I know, that doesn't sound very sexy. At least for me, it brought back memories of those feature phones that swiveled vertically, not everyone's cup of tea. But if this render is even a bit true, you'll have to be open-minded to a whole other beast, one that swivels perpendicularly. How's that? Imagine two screens, one that stays put and eventually works as a keyboard and the other that turns from portrait view to landscape. Why would you need that? Is there a market for these smartphones to start with? Or is it enough for LG to constantly push the limits of what we expect from a phone today? I guess we're gonna see as the year comes to a close. LG could go for the late August release or wait for the full wave of phones and hope for the shopping season to bring in the big bucks. As for Project B, the more they wait, the more fierce the competition will be. Let's not forget that LG might be the fittest for this rollable mission, but they're not the first nor the last. TCL already showed off its own concept for rollable phones and a trifle design that puts your standard foldable phones to shame. But as with any concept, they're not committing to a release anytime soon. If LG manages to take the lead, fingers crossed for an acceptable price, at least for some users. It will definitely be on par with the foldable phones, maybe even bigger. What would be a stiff but fair price for a rollable phone? Tell us in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. Stay safe, guys.